What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone had a good and safe weekend. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully, you tested negative. It's time for this week's look at COVID and wastewater. We're a day late in doing the video yesterday. We had some nasty thunderstorm activity here yesterday afternoon, which actually prevented me from recording because the thunder just would not stop. It lasted for hours and hours. Taking a look here at the national um, Biobot analytics, taking a look at the national picture with the four different regions, and you can see all regions are dropping with exceptions to the southeast region. Down in the southeast, we actually see things leveling off somewhat. It's not really rising, it's more so leveling off, and we've seen things bouncing around, but the overall trajectory since back in May for all regions has continued to be down which is uh, relatively impressive compared to other years during this pandemic. Let's take a look at the CDC wastewater page. I'm going to move myself over to the left so you can see all the data over onto the right. And you can see new sites. There's 116 new sites. 0 to 19% COVID detected is at 787 sites. 20% to 39% COVID detected is at 344 sites. 40% to 59% COVID detected is at 114 sites. 60% to 79% COVID detected is at 17 sites. And 80% to 100%. This is high. This is the concerning range. There's just five sites. And I will show you at least four of those red sites. Can't seem to find where the fifth one is. I'm sure it's hidden in here somewhere. But let's start off in the northeast. We'll make our way south and then we will go westward. Alrighty, Northeast, first state we're going to look at, we do tend to start off with Maine. And unfortunately in Maine, there's a lot of grayed out sites, but there are still some blue ones that we can see. Maine is definitely a place that we're going to be concerning ourselves with after 4th of July. They're going to see a big influx of people. And a lot of wastewater sites are going to be places that we are going to concern ourselves with. Because AAA is saying close to... 52 million people are going to travel 4th of July in this country, and that's a lot of people. That's enough to definitely cause some spread. We thought there would have been a wave after Memorial Day weekend across the country, but there wasn't. So we'll see what happens with 4th of July. All right, Cumberland County, Maine. This is one of the smaller sites. There's multiple sites there. 8,500 people at this wastewater site. It is dropping. And now we come over to the bigger site. This one is... Uh, Cumberland County again, Portland, Maine. There's another one at 65,000. Can't seem to find it at the moment. I think it is not reporting. Yeah, here it is. Hasn't updated since, yeah, way back in the middle of May. So, yeah, that's not good. And it was rising at the time. So that was a relatively concerning. Let's go over to New Hampshire. Here's a 45,000 for Merrimack. And uh, flat at this time, doesn't update all that often. Let's take a look at Vermont, Chitterton. As you know, Chitterton, that's where Burlington is. And you can see here, one site was dropping. The bigger site is rising. How about Boston? This is 2.4 million people. It's a big wastewater site. We have a few sites that we'll look at today that are over a million population. But this one is in Boston. Includes Worcester, Norfolk, Norfolk Suffolk, uh, Plymouth, and Middlesex. And you can see it's flat. It doesn't update that frequently. I, this is one of those weird ones that... Just does up, down, or straight across. And I'll never understand why there are some sites that do that. Here's one that doesn't. Also Middlesex. 180,000 uh, people at this wastewater site. And it is dropping at this time. Let's take a look at Rhode Island. We haven't looked at Rhode Island in a while. Providence, Rhode Island. 240,000. Decent sized. And that is actually dropping at this time. Let's go to New York State where we are going to see multiple red sites start in upstate new york very small site essex rising ever so slightly only three thousand or so people in this wastewater shit let's go to one of the red ones allegheny and this one is a small site but it's continuing to rise and it is red high only 4100 people at this wastewater site uh, erie county new york and this one's 24,461 people it had dropped a little bit now it's flat but again it is coming up in the red and we do have some orange sites niagara 31,000 at this wastewater site it is dropping here's another one ontario 16,507 it is dropping and i believe i just found the missing 
red site that I could not find. Here it is, Softlock County, New York. Only 5,789 people at this wastewater site, but look at that chart there. It is going straight upward. That is not good. Speaking of Long Island and New York, let's take a look at New York City. Let's see what's going on there. Kings County, this is a smaller site for New York standards. Uh, it is dropping. 283,000 there. Here's one that's 596,000. That's dropping. Here's another site for King, 758,000. This one is rising. And if it continues at that rate, it'll get near moderate relatively soon. Let's go up closer to Manhattan. Or it just says New York, that's Manhattan. 588,000, it is dropping. There's another one up there. 588,000, that one's dropping. Uh, Bronx, this one in Bronx, 684,000 people is rising. So a very mixed picture in New York. I think uh, dropping is probably winning out more. Although here in Queens, 728,000, it is rising. And how about we check Staten Island? Staten Island, wow, Richmond. This one's definitely going to be moderate to high soon if it continues rising at that rate. Here's the other one in Richmond, 244,000 people and slightly starting to rise. Let's take a look at New Jersey. Essex Union rising slightly. This is a big wastewater site, folks. 1.3 million. Then we come down to the Jersey Shore, and these short locations ones do not update. This is Monmouth County. The other one's closer to Tom's River. Again, we don't have any at the southern shore points. That really bothers me. I wish we did. Here's Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Flat to slightly starting to rise. There's another one from Montgomery County, 13,000. That's starting to rise. And we do have the two wastewater sites in Center County, Pennsylvania. Uh, 90,000 people at this one, slightly starting to drop. Then there's another one for Center County, which is a little bit more west in the county. And it's slightly rising at this time. How about Harrisburg, Pennsylvania? We haven't checked there in a while. Dolphin County, 125,000, and it's flat at this time. Then we come down to near Baltimore area, ball well, dropping, and let's see, how about D.C.? We do have one site that usually reports in D.C., 1.6 million. It's dropping at this time. That's good to see. North Carolina, we have this Lincoln County. It's at high, but look at that. It's starting to drop now, so that is good to see. How about South Carolina? Lexington, 40,000 population here. That is uh, rising ever so slightly after being flat for a long period of time. And just quickly going through the Atlanta metro area, you can see generally flat. A lot of these sites don't update too often. This one, 325,000, is dropping. How about over here where it says low? Clark, 60,000. It's uh, dropping ever so slightly. Back to South Carolina again. Buford, this one that's been moderate for a while. It's continuing to drop. I think it's going to drop out of moderate pretty soon. How about Orlando? What's going on there? Orlando, not too concerning. Dropping which is a surprise for the summer months. Uh, let's do one more there. Let's see what's going on at this wastewater site. So orange, continuing to drop. That's good. Palm Beach. Now we're getting close to Miami now. Look at this, dropping. Here's one Miami date, 776,000. That's pretty big. And it is rising. We do see that there's one here in the orange. What's this orange site doing? Another Miami date. Doesn't update all that frequently. It's at 829,000 population, and it's flattened now in the orange. How about we take a look at Alabama? Not doing too bad at that site in Jefferson. We come down to Lee. That's dropping. How about New Orleans? We do want to check in with Orleans County, or Parish, I should say. 389,000 people at this wastewater shed. It is low to near moderate and continuing to rise. If it continues at that rate, it will definitely probably cross into the orange pretty soon. Dallas, here's one that is in the orange, and it's continuing to rise. That's concerning to see. Here's another one, 900,000, bigger site. The other one was only 300,000, and this one is dropping. Here's another one, Tarrant County, 1.2 million. It's flat at this time. Let's continue back uh, northwest. We come in here to Arkansas, 25,000 at this wastewater shed and dropping. Let's come up here to Ohio. We forgot to do Ohio. And here's one, small wastewater site. It is rising. How about Franklin County? 645,000. That's Columbus. And it is dropping at this time. Cincinnati area looking pretty good. Here's one that's flat, but again, it's dropping. And Hamilton, that's also Cincinnati area, dropping. Ohio? I'm going to be honest with you. Ohio is doing really good. Here's one that is dropping Summit. 
But for the most part, Ohio is not doing that bad. Let's go to Northwest Ohio and look at this. Dropping, 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 dropping. How about Detroit area? This one is flooded this time, but it's one of those sites that doesn't really update all that often and gives us the up, down, straight across type thing. Here's Cook County. We'll do several for uh, Chicago area and not doing too bad. Uh, yeah, it's rising, but again, it's it's not terribly concerning just yet because a lot of these are starting off at really low levels, except for that orange one that I clicked on. And we're looking for the big one here. I believe this is it. Nope. And the big one, here we go. This one is rising, but again, it's starting off at a low level, 1.2 million. It's one of the bigger wastewater sites that we look at. And taking a look up here in Milwaukee area, dropping at this time. Continuing our tour, let's go up to near Minneapolis, Minnesota. You can see dropping, dropping, dropping. A lot of uh, wastewater sites in Minnesota are not reporting, and that is a problem that we have with the various wastewater sites where they just don't report. Coming out here to Colorado, Colorado, again, not doing too bad. Even if there's some sites that are rising, like this one, slightly rising, it's starting off at a really low level. This one is concerning. Now, it's a smaller wastewater site, but it's already low to moderate, and it's rising relatively quickly. Let's check this one up here. Again, another small site, and you can see not terribly concerning in Colorado right now. Now we come over here to Arizona, La Paz, very small wastewater site, dropping, it's at moderate. That'll probably drop out of the orange pretty soon if it continues at that rate. Here's another one, uh, Maricopa County, 2.4 million people at this site, and it's dropping, and it's already at low levels. So that's good to see. Let's see what's going on in Los Angeles. 4 million population at this wastewater site, and it's flat. That is good to see at this time. Coming up to the Bay Area, where there are a ton of wastewater sites, and you can see flat, 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 flat. A lot of these sites, though there's a lot of sites here, they don't update all that frequently. They're not weekly. Maybe some of them are every other week, which I don't understand why. But let's continue on up here into uh, Oregon. We have a couple orange sites that we want to look at. Here's one in Lane County, which has 10,200 people, and it is rising at this time. And we have another one here in Washington that's orange at this time. And let's go over here to Wyoming. This is our uh, one site in Wyoming that is already high, only 20,000 people, but it is rapidly rising. This is Sheridan County, Wyoming. And again, that's concerning to see that it is rapidly rising. I think we've done all the red sites. Uh, let's go up here. Again, let's go to North Dakota. Grand Forks, 67,000 people in this wastewater site. It is slightly starting to rise. How about South Dakota? South Dakota, 13,289. And it is relatively flat. And let's go to the western portion of the state. Pennington, 80,000 people in this wastewater facility. And it is dropping. And we'll just end today on Nebraska. Nebraska's not doing too bad. We do have some sites here that just started reporting not too long ago. That is great to see new sites in a state like Nebraska. It's almost a surprise. And look at this. It's dropping. Now, some of these are low to moderate, but again, they are dropping. Alrighty, folks, that does it for today's wastewater update. We'll have something else probably later on today, maybe the pandemic update this evening. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, hit the like and subscribe button down below. And I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone.